Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Apocalypse Challenge. We're here with Lexamir and the family. Lexamir is working out, as you can see, and then he's going into the bathroom to take care of his needs. His wife, Latarsha, is playing some darts. Uh, we're not going to receive a text because we don't really care about it. Allie is in the bathroom taking care of her needs, and then after she's done with that, I'm going to let her go ahead and eat spaghetti. Wow, I just had to yawn all of a sudden. Alright, Shannon is downstairs. She is practicing chess, but when she's ready to be done, she can eat spaghetti as well. Uh, Talia is downstairs playing hopscotch. When she's ready to be done, she can eat spaghetti as well. And little Ned here, he's downstairs playing hopscotch with his sister, and when he is done, he's going to continue on on his own because... Um, he needs to be taken care of that. Now, I need, I do need to have him recycle these first. Uh, we need to get rid of both of them. They have to, they're have they supposed to be gotten rid of um, automatically at the very beginning of the day, but uh, I don't really care. All right, Lexamere. Perfect. All right, so jumping on into this. Oh, I don't even have my paperwork in front of me. I'm just sitting here thinking, oh, this one little paper. Yeah, right. One little paper my took us. Alright. Just looking at the number for this LP. What number we're at. And we're getting up there. Let's not. Let's be honest. We've almost hit 50. Which I think is crazy. But. Alright. Talia, you just won that game. That's fine. I'm not really, um worried about who wins okay all right you're cleaning the toilet all right that's fine too you don't need to use it but you do need to grab something to eat do you need to eat yeah you could eat as well so Oh, there is no more food. Alright, well, Lexamere, when you're ready, let's go ahead and have you serve up some... Go to do some stew surprise. Alright, you're not doing that, that's why. Why don't you get out of here? Go here. Go. Why don't you go ahead and have a quick meal? Why don't you go eat some brain freeze a la mode? What, are you having a fit about it too? No, you're the one that just ate. You don't need to clean up. 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 Okay. Move, Allie. Go. God, you tell her to do something. She just stands there like a dork. This poor guy needs to pee and you're just standing in his way. All right. You need to have a quick meal of brain freeze a la mode. You're going to eat brain freeze. Oh, no. You're going to serve up something. Why don't you go ahead and just eat some quick meal of brain freeze a la mode. I told you that like how many times? 7,000? Don't listen to me. Alright, brain freeze a la mode. No. You can get off of that. And if you want something to do, you can come up here and you can play with that. How about that? And you need something to do. Stop making a snowman. So I really would rather we didn't have them outside and you just eat some brain freeze too. Alright, and we need to get rid of this clothes. And in a little, in about a half an hour, Allie's going to become a young adult. And we're going to look at her, what she looks like. And hopefully she doesn't look too bad. Alright, Ned, when you're done eating, let's see. Your dad already used the bathroom you're fine but I could get you to actually use it one more time that would probably help Allie you can't do that but you know what you can do for me go ahead and clean up your bowl how about that you're creeped out you're crazy no one even talked to you seriously no one talked to her all right and then just go ahead and wash dishes or wash your hands until your birthday which should be in a couple of minutes I don't think you're really going to get that far but that's right Anyways, all right, Ned. All right, why don't you go ahead and just play with your little bear? No, we don't pick him up. 
play with him. Mm. Alright. Mm. I'm waiting on Allie to age up. Simone, you're a, chi you're a t child now. Couldn't spit that out for some odd reason. Alright, and I think your mom's coming in here, so you're going to go ahead and get off of this. And when you're done, go here by running. Get out of the bathroom. Okay, good. And you can celebrate your birthday right there if you want to. Alright, your mom's going to go ahead and take care of this. And then... Let's see. We'll let you continue writing your book for a little while. Allie, why don't you just work on this for a little while until your birthday, okay? I mean, come on, give me a break. I don't know, maybe it's going to be at 9. I don't know what time it actually happens for teenagers. Oh, there we go, it's 9 o'clock. All right, Allie, it's time to age up, friend. She's like, I don't want to stop painting, though. All right, so here we go. When it registers that it's her birthday, it's going to zoom in on her. Come on. Alright, there we go. <laughs> like father, like son. Let me put it that way. Alright, Allie, so age on up. Alright, so let's see. You're finally a young adult with all the privileges and responsibilities of adulthood. Her future is wide open. What will she accomplish? Due to her difficulties in school, she will not be allowed to choose a trait for her, and she's developed the kleptomaniac trait. I mean, it's not the worst, but it's not the best. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Your outfit is just unbearable. I am just, I don't know. Uh, you want to reach level 10 of the music career. I can't promise that you're going to be able to do that, so I can't do that one. Can't promise you're going to get that. Uh... We're not going to be able to go out and steal, master the charisma and guitar. Well, I wonder if we could get a guitar. You know what? I'm just going to give her that one. I, I know you can choose which one of these, but I don't know if you can actually choose, like, go in here and, like, search for your own. I really think it makes it more fun if you don't. It makes it more like hard to achieve so we're gonna go with this one the charisma and guitar I know she can master the charisma well I don't know because you gotta meet friends so I don't know about that one either but what was this one bass guitar drums and piano mmm it seems like it would be easier to do this one but in the long run you're gonna have to have a lot of friends but it would be helpful if she was like in the political career or something. She would have to have a lot of friends anyways. This one, if we could buy all the instruments. I don't know. I'm going to go with that one. I don't know why I went with it, but I did. <laughs> I just did. Oh, that is just disgusting. That is really disgusting. You disgust me. Alright, so Allie is now a young adult and things are about to get a little bit more hectic around here now I don't want to get her a job until she graduates um, you just witnessed her become a young adult uh, because I don't want it to make her miss a day of work so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wait until she graduates and then we'll look for her job so Allie even knowing you are stinky I'm gonna send you up here and you're gonna go to bed because you're tired Shannon. Oh boy, Shannon. Why don't... What are you doing? You're going to eat? Okay, you can eat. Um, you need to wash your hands, and so do you. Can you take a sponge bath? You can't sponge bathe when you're a child. That's stupid. Alright, well then, you go ahead and wash your hands first. Because I know your hunger is taken care of. Alright, you're going to sleep... And then I'm going to let you take care of your hygiene in the morning. Alright. Latarsha, you're ready for bed. Uh, Dad, 
You need to eat. So why don't you go ahead and grab a bowl? All right, everyone should be set to do what they need to do. Latarsha, get off the phone. You're not supposed to see on it. Yeah, we don't care about your stupid party. And that outfit is just, oh boy. That's all I can say. Oh boy. You might want to get your chains out, your whips, so you can make people back off because uh, she's not covering too much. She's not keeping anything for suspense over here. I mean, come on, look at her legs. They're all showing and everything. She's crazy. All right, so a lot of people are headed off to bed. When you're done washing your hands, I'm going to let you go to sleep. Dad, when you're done eating, you're going to go to bed. Shannon, get out of the bathroom. Oh, no. Actually, you know what? Forget about washing your hands. Your sister needs to use the bathroom. She needs to use it. All right, don't worry about washing your stupid plates. Man, you guys are just annoying, aren't you? Give me these stupid things. I'm going to delete them. I am happy culinary was the first thing we lifted because not being able to eat as much as these people like to, it would be devastating. All right. Alright, speed you up while you wash your hands. Your guys' hair is too much alike now. I liked that it was different. I mean, it's a different hairstyle, but it looks a lot alike. Alright, why don't you go ahead and keep washing. Alright, so when she's done with all that, then I'll let her go to bed. All right. That is the cutest little picture. Are those toddlers? Oh my goodness. That is really cute. Okay, I just, I'm just amazed. I want to go see this photo. Look at how freaking cute. Oh my goodness. They're like the cutest kids. I had to comment. That is like the cutest. Sims free play three for the win. You have some of the cutest little kids there. Oh my goodness. Too cute. Alright. Back into it. Uh, Keon Al Alonzo is getting pretty old and won't live forever, which means he won't be here tomorrow. And neither will Irene Warren. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut out here and I will be back when everyone is, or someone's getting up for their day. Be back in just a second. Okay, so Latarsha is up. That was a quick sleep, let me tell you. Um, she's up about 4.46 in the morning, so she's up a little bit earlier today. Um, what are you doing? Oh, you're going to clean the toilet? Okay. Uh, I was going to say we're going to work on our hygiene while the kids are still asleep because until the kids get up, nothing really as big is going to happen with the sink downstairs. I can't believe that we already have a young adult. It's crazy. Anyways, I don't think anyone has school or anything today because, um, because, uh, it's time to, um, do the graduation today, so... I'm just going to let her do her hands, and then I'm going to let her eat something. Let's go ahead and eat some stew surprise. All right, when you get up, you can go ahead and eat your stew surprise, and then I'll let you come in here, and you can take care of your needs, and then I'll let you work out again. You can do cardio, and just do it until your skill improves. Just don't break a sweat. All right, when you're up, let's get you down here to eat stew surprise as well, and you as well. Alright, you're going to be coming down to use the bathroom. 
Um, all right. And then when you get up, you need to come down and eat your stew surprise. All right. Okay. Okay, you're eating, you're getting out of the bathroom, which is good, and it keeps her hygiene up too. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. You're coming down to eat. You are still sleeping. You're going to be sleeping until 10.30. Man. All right, you're getting up, which means you're going to want to get in this bathroom, which means your dad's not going to be able to do this. So, Dad, go work out first and then come over and do this next. All right, it's graduation day. Head down to City Hall to collect your diploma at this graduation ceremony. All right, so when she is actually done, we're actually going to head on out. And whatever someone gets done, they get done. Whatever they don't, they don't. Okay. You almost done? I don't think so. Well, your daughter is coming down, you know. She's probably going to want to get in the bathroom. Everyone would stay out of there for five seconds. All right, so I'm going to go click on City Hall since you got to go there first. And we are going to go ahead and graduate at City Hall. And I'm going to jump over to you. This is quite the outfit. I'm not going to lie to you. She is a beautiful sim, I have to say. But the outfit she chose is just, I don't know. I like the hairstyle she's got, though I do like it. So I might have to use it on some of my other Sims. Well, the outside wear is not the greatest, but I can live with it. It's not the worst. It's not like, you know, underwear and something else. So at least it's that. All right, are you coming? Come on. Your mom's coming. Your sister is getting up so she can come. You're coming. And you're coming. Alright, so everyone should be coming because I've canceled them out of whatever they were doing to get them out here, to get them to go. You just keep waiting because there's other people coming. You want to learn the guitar skill. I know you do. That is his outside wear, or outerwear that is too hilarious. I love her outerwear. It's too cute. Her mom's is kind of crazy, but that's alright. We've got some more people coming. I think there's like two more kids that we need. Uh, Shannon and Ned. There's Ned. He's got his little, um, what do you call that thing? His little, like, tux kind of thing on. She's got a normal kind of outfit, but the gloves and the shoes and, you know, everything else is just crazy. Uh, you're supposed to be coming. Oh, my goodness. He's such a dork. Stop doing that. No, you're not going on a free vacation. You just saw a deer for the first time. All right, well, I'm hoping possibly if I make him come over to City Hall, he'll actually attend it. I'm not sure he will, but we're going to see what he can do. All right, come on. You're taking too long to get to City Hall. Here it is. All right, why don't you come over here? Get that stir crazy move out, too, because you actually get to come over here for once. All right, so go on inside, watch you graduate. Are you not going to change first? No, oh, she didn't go, she didn't change back. All right, so he's finally going to come on over here. Okay. Oh, I like her formal wear. All right, he's on his way finally for the graduation, which is good because he should be here for his daughter's graduation. I'm excited because it's like a new chapter kind of, you know, and like a new person's going to get a job. We're going to be able to go out and do things. going to be able to lift some different, um, some different restrictions and that'll be good. I love this little outfit on him. I think it's cute, but in a way it's really annoying because it doesn't really make sense here, but that's okay. All right. So we're just going to back up because I don't really want to listen to the graduation. Looking out, it's still snowing. You know, it's good times. 
Uh, there is one restriction we have to lift to get rid of this snow constantly and to start to see some other um, some other seasons, but we've got a lot. What the heck? That is weird. How those people get down to their house? Well, no one lives there, but I mean, if they weren't, if they did live there, how the heck would they get there? No idea. This one's kind of funny, too. I don't know. I guess they would just run up here. I don't know. Anyways, it's nice to finally be able to get out of the house for once. I really like the, uh, the, this, the backdrop here with the mountains. I think it's very beautiful. I don't know how you get that. Well, I guess it would be part of the world, but it just looks amazing. And I just, I'd like to be able to take it in more often in this LP, but we're always so pressured for time and doing things, so I don't really have time. Yeah, I'm guessing it's just like the way the world is because you got the mountains over here too. It just looks so pretty, like you're in like the Grand Canyon or something. And then we live over there in the way, way far over there, like way over there. Is there people that live around here? There's a person that lives here. Not that we'll ever probably, well, we might meet them later on. We just got to start re um, lifting restrictions. Once we actually lift the restrictions, we'll be fine. Now, she has to get through her career as fast as she can. Um, because that way, um, that way we're able to, uh, get her married and start the next generation because her dad's not going to live much longer i mean he's getting to the end of his stage of life too all right you're not going to toss your diploma fine she'll always remember graduation day because she barely graduated um she graduated from starry community school with a fail her classmates have voted her most likely to burn down their own house the future is bright for this young graduate i think that's sarcastic because definitely not bright. Alright, the first thing she's going to do when we get home is she is going to go ahead and um, you guys all need to go home, please. Alright, and he's on his way. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look in the newspaper for a job for her and the first one that pops up is going to be the one that she takes. Now, I'm going to have to make sure we can do it and I remember last time I was freaking out because I thought we couldn't but I didn't realize that you could do it in the... Um, the fortune teller so that's fine we should come over here again but I have to fix it up and every single time I was fixing it up it kept, my game kept crashing it was weird I might just delete it and build a new it won't be that hard um alright so before you go all the way inside before you go all the way inside do we need to pay anything no Okay. I said before you go all the way inside you don't listen to me <laughs> alright come out here and let's find you a job let's see jobs find a job fun. Alright, and remember it's the first job that pops up. I am so excited because I don't know what she's going to get. So it's like a random thing. Oh my goodness. So exciting. So exciting. I hope everyone's taking care of their own needs because I'm so excited about this. I can't even go focus on them. Oh my goodness. What is it going to be? Aw, you got fortune teller again? <laughs> All right, you'll follow in your daddy's footsteps then. All right, you're going to do the fortune teller career. And you have Tuesdays and Thursdays off. So that's not too bad. All right, so you just joined the fortune teller career. I was really hoping for a different career. I'm not going to lie to you. I was hoping for medical, but that's okay. All right, we're going to get you upstairs. We're going to get your needs taken care of. First off, you need to go ahead and use and shower. Pause. Someone is doing something that they're not supposed to be doing. And I think it's Latarsha. Latarsha, if you're going to be on the computer, at least do something that's going to benefit us. I mean, come on. You're talking with your son. What is he asking you? You're asking about his day. That's nice of you, but your dad needs to work out. So go ahead and do your cardio. Don't break a sweat. Work out until you have improved your skill. Allie, you're taking care of that. You're cooking. Why are you cooking? There's food in here. All right, go ahead and eat the stew surprise. You need to eat as well. I think everyone else already ate. That's why. Well, I think except for her. Which she doesn't really need to be cooking, but whatever. 
All right, our household is getting very hectic and very crowded very quickly. So somebody's going to have to go. <laughs> and I don't mean you, Lexmere. It doesn't have to be you. Someone else could just fly a kite. Um, stop freaking out, people. Seriously. You guys have too many issues. I'm trying to get the dirt rid of the dirty laundry, and all you guys keep doing is complaining. It makes me want to just make you guys live in it longer. How about that? Uh, you did not wait. No, you can't be chatted to. You need to eat. No. Stop. Come here. You make me angry. Stop doing what you're doing. This is why I kind of wish you could, um... This is why I kind of wish you could just tell them, like, don't. Like, you could turn off their free will a little bit. Because things like this just annoy me. Alright. Give me this stupid clothes. And then this is not allowing her to eat it. So you're going to go ahead and eat. Stew surprise. And I don't even care if you have to fight to eat it. <laughs> you're going to eat it. Alright. No. You're not doing that. You're going to go downstairs and you're going to practice hopscotch. Buddy. Darrell, Basira, actually, Allie, stop, stop, stop. Come down here and talk with this man. Give him a f charming introduction. Charming introduction. Okay. Alright, you're going to go upstairs and you're going to go ahead and take care of your needs. Oh my goodness. Alright, use and then wash your hands. Okay, you are going to go upstairs. If you don't want to play that, then you're going to come up here and you're going to take care of your needs up here. When a man walks onto your lot, you do not turn them down. Let me tell you, in this LP, you jump at the, you jump at the chance of being able to talk to him. Doesn't matter what he looks like. Actually, he's not that bad either. What was that? Oh, she just finished her book. Alright, let me get up to you because i got to tell you what to do. You're going to go ahead and start another one. Alright, I don't know what you've written, so let me check quickly. You can't finish it, but you can at least start one. Um, how about doing a mystery? That would be good. So go ahead and write mystery. Alright, hopefully you guys won't do anything you're not supposed to. I want to get a close look at this guy. I want to see if he's older or if he's younger. Um, cause it's going to make a difference. I think... I'm looking at the lines. I don't really see. I mean, I thought I saw lines, but I'm not sure if it's what I'm. If it's like because he's old or if it's because he's just the way his eyes are. So hold on a second. The thief who stole everything. Okay. It's gonna be your daughter. She's gonna steal everything. I think he's older. I think he's got lines here, and I can see lines in his forehead. So I think he's already an adult. Because I'm thinking by the time she gets through her her career they're gonna have already aged and if he's much older like adult age older then kind of won't be able to do it but we can try all right so she just wrote 445 pages worth of a book named lyrics for the lovelorn it's got she'll get six worlds payments of 619 simoleons for that and he just got a job. He's actually in the career she's going into. And so did Fred and Emil and Destiny. Why is everyone taking the same job we are? <laughs> Alright, why don't you go ahead and be friendly? Why don't you ask about his age? See what he says. I know that you're not really supposed to do these. But psh, it's not like it's cheating really. It's just finding out his age. Um, why don't you go ahead and ask his sign? Doris, you're in that too now? Why is everyone taking that job? He's 41 days older than us. Yeah, that's not going to work. He's going to be old by the time we actually even do anything. Why don't you go over here for a second? Just run there. I would do this man, but he's just much, much older. By the time we get to that stage, we'll already have known. Oh, their signs are compatible, though. Darn it. <laughs> Darn it all. Alright. So... We could go here. Who's this man? Cyrus Craven. Yeah, I don't really think so. 
You are just disgusting. Do you know that? You are disgusting. All right. Yeah, go ahead and make a snowman. I want to see if anyone shows up, if she's here for a little while. I want to see if anything happens. So I'm going to let her stay over here for a little bit, and then I'm going to jump back over here. All right, you're working out. You're writing your mystery novel. You're doing that. You're not supposed to be dancing. Did I tell you to dance? No. Why don't you come up here and sleep? You're tired. Is anyone else tired? <clears throat> no. But you need to keep washing your hands because you're just, you're miserable. All right, let's get rid of these stupid clothes. That's why I wish we didn't have the uh, hampers, but that's all right. All right, delete these bowls. Anything that's worth zero simoleons, I can literally delete on in-game. It doesn't really matter. So dishes like that, I can delete them if I want to. Whoops. Delete. Delete. All right, I don't remember what the skills that you need. Actually, hold on. Let me jump into buy bi mode. All right, that's Talia's. All right, Allie. All right, and that's Ned's. I don't think Shannon has homework, to be honest. No, she can't have homework because she obviously hasn't went to work in, or school in a while. All right, we need to make another bedroom. Allie's going to need a double bedroom by the time she's an adult. So, we're going to start on that now. Um, let's see. I'd really like to give her... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I would really like to give her this from this whole end right here. Um, where can you put the... All right. The only other thing I need, I want to put up here is possibly another bathroom when we can get another one. And... I'll probably just leave this as a little landing and I'm gonna I want to delete these stairs and I want to put in um, I want to put in ladders but the bad thing is is I think you're allowed to get ladders I think I'm not really sure I need to look into it I believe you can I would leave the stairs outside but I would delete this floor and you know what I was just thinking of? This can't be... This is not 8x8. Eight eight. This is only 7x8. So actually, what I want to do is I want to expand this over one more. And I want to put... Yeah, I want to put this over one more f space. Even though that's not going to be up against the wall, it'll kind of look dumb, don't you think, though? Because the whole thing is supposed to be 8x8 eight eight area. This is my 8x8 eight eight area. So I really should be able to honestly be able to um, pull this over and have a bit more of a floor. What I'll probably do is I'll probably just expand this room. And then on this floor up here, I'm probably going to do the whole thing. So um, all right, let's do walls. All right. It has to go here. It can't go here. Okay. I don't know what you're going to use that for. Then I'm not going to do it if you can't do it there. All right. We're going to do... Do I want the two walls here? Um, yeah, I think it's going to go there. I'll probably just close this in, but for right now, I don't need to. All I need to do is get the bedroom closed in. So how many days is it going to take? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like ten days to get that done. That's not too bad. And then I'll have the room down here for the kids. And the baby cribs are probably going to stay right there. I might actually move them up here when Allie gets ready to um when Allie gets ready to have babies they might put it in her room but I don't know because I don't like it when it wakes them up when they're sleeping so I don't know all right in buy mode 
I am going to buy something and it's going to be called another bed. This is going to be Allie's bed. Now she's not going to be able to use it now but it's going to be her bed and it's probably going to get placed here and then I'm going to have that extra room for whatever else I need. So I'm just going to put it up here. We're going to be able to just keep it for when we need it. And then we should be good otherwise. All right, I think we're good. Looking at the day, oh, it's Tuesday. I have not paid, I have not bought back all the stuff that I need to do. So I need to do that right now. I didn't realize it was already that far along. So let me go ahead and buy back these beds. And I'm actually going to buy back two of them because i got to get one for the other side too. Now let's go ahead and sell this. All right. The baby cribs, I do have to delete them. But let me go ahead and buy back the ones that I need. All right. That one and this one. All right. So now I can delete these ones. All right. I need to do that bed, but i got to get her out of it. Uh, this is too cheap. I think I got to do the rocking horse. Um, let's see, what else do I need to do? Alright, I need to do this bed. And since I bought that other one on a Tuesday, I'm not going to do it. Alright, delete that. Alright, let's see. The bad thing is she's going to lose her painting. But, that's okay. All right, I gotta put the painting. All right, fine. How much would it have cost? I don't know. Let's delete it. Um. All right, what toilet is this? I don't even know. I think it's like the cheapest one. Cheapest toilet. No, it's this one. All right, the sink is a no. The potty is a no. The mirror, I don't think so. The bookshelf, I know I don't. All right, I gotta buy back this, this, and this. The reason I didn't delete that fridge is because I don't know if you delete it while it's got food in it, if it just deletes the food too, I'm not really sure. I mean, I know if you don't, if you have another one already ready to go but we didn't have another one ready to go so all right there's that i do need to delete who is using this i was gonna say can't um all right entertainment no it's in this one and it's this one right here okay uh do i need to do the baby chair high chair i can't remember let's see furniture no um I don't think I have to do... I have to do the table, I believe. I can't remember what I have to do from this house. It's so horrible. Alright, table is a no. What about the chairs? The dining chairs we have are these ones, so that's no. Alright, um... So the only other things that I have to do are the computer, the desk, this, um, I do need to do this logic table, so. And then let me get another one. Alright, and I want to put it at an angle like it was. I don't want this at all, actually. Alright, I'll have to get rid of it in-game then. Alright, and hopscotch. I don't believe I have to do the hopscotch court either, really. I wish you wouldn't make a snowman at my house. That'd be nice. Um, Alright, so that stuff I said no. This I already did. This I already did. This I already did. These I did. This I did. This I don't have to. No. Okay, so I gotta get him to stop working out. Her to get off the computer. Her to get off the rocking horse. And her to get out of bed. And then we should be good otherwise. Because I think I've done everything else. Alright, so let me go ahead and do that. Alright, Ned, you keep doing what you're doing. You get off of the rocking horse, and I want you to go here. You get out of bed, and I want you to go here. And Mom, you get off the computer, and I want you to go here. And Dad, I want you to get off of that, and I want you to go here. Everyone, go. 
All right, and what are you doing over there? You're still making a snowman. Okay, she can make a snowman. That's okay. All right, so let me jump into buy mode. I think everyone should be out of what they... Nope, she's not out of it, but that's all right. We'll get hers next. All right, computer, not the chair, the desk, this. All right, so we need uh, radio. If I knew how to do it the other way, I think it would be much easier, but I really don't know how to do it. Um, so if you guys know how to do it, let me know, but otherwise, we're just kind of stuck with what we got here. Alright, we're going to go with this. We're going to bring back our chair. We need to get our computer back. Which, we go with the white one. Alright, next, I need to take this. I'm going to put it right here so I can duplicate it. Okay. Nope, I actually didn't need to do that, so undo that. That is fine. I don't think it had to be done because it was only 75 to buy a new one. Anything under $100 you don't have to buy back if you don't know. So, um, I was looking for where it is, but where is it? It's got to be in here then. Yeah, it's only 75 for that. Okay, so the only other thing I got to do is that um, bed... Just making sure I have everything. Did don't have to do that. Got that. All right, I think I've got everything, so we are good to go, except for that bed, which I need to do. All right, so let me get you guys back to what you were doing. You go ahead and write, continue that, and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna work out again. Cardio. You're gonna don't break a sweat and do it until your skill improves. I'm sorry that I got you off your little rocker. I didn't know that you it only cost 75 but there you go. So you, you can, uh, whoops, not that. You can go ahead and get back to playing. All right, and then Shannon, once you get out of that room, I can go ahead and delete your bed. All right, so delete this bed and pull this one in. And there we go. So now I just got to reset everyone's beds. So let me do that right now. All right, you're going to go ahead. Don't sleep. Just take a nap. All right, we're going to set this bed ownership to Allie. We're going to set this bed ownership to Talia. This bed ownership gets set to Ned. And the parents obviously get this bed, so that's fine. All right, you want to play darts? You play darts then. I'm not going to fight with you. I'm going to go over to your daughter. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's people here. Wait, 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 wait. Get off the phone. All right, who are you people? Uh, you're pixelated. You haven't, you haven't fully loaded yet. This is the nice thing about going over here is if we could start meeting people, we would have an option. Can you please load Gavin Conway? Oh boy. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and do a charming introduction to him? And I want you to also do one to this guy if you think if we think he might be potential. And he's not too bad. I mean, he's cute. So go ahead and do a charming introduction to him. Is there anyone else on this lot? Nope. Those are the only two men that have come over to see you. See you, Allie. Allie. Oop. There's a puppy. Oh, no, it's a cat. Ooh, you have someone attractive, you think. Char Whoa. Okay. You're not fighting him. What is wrong with you? I don't know why she wants to fight him. All right, what's your sign? Looks like you and I were meant to be. Woo-hoo! <laughs> There's a lot of cats over here. Who am I kidding? All right, tonight's not a full moon, so she has to be home by 8 or 10. All right, I guess you didn't want to talk to Gavin. I don't think, I guess you don't like him. Why don't you go ahead and be friendly, and why don't you ask his sign? You could ask his career. What are you doing? Oh, you're doing your charming introduction. Um, do we ask if he's single? No. Ask if he's single. Oh, you broke your phone. Let's see. You can't ask how old he is? Yes, not. Alright, and then with this guy, go ahead and ask about his age. Go ahead and ask about his career. Lady, you have a lot of issues. Um, 
Nurka, read off. Ask his sign. Ask if he's single. And he finds us attractive. No thanks. You're not supposed to be on the phone. It's too hard to keep track of all these sims when you're out here trying to do something with one of them. You're supposed to be working out, but I guess you don't want to do that. No, you can't do a snowball fight. Get off of that. See, this is why I don't like free will, because they do things that you tell them and to the O about. Alright, get over here and keep washing your hands, please. And you, are, go over here and eat. Did you work out until your thing went up? Probably not. You probably didn't listen to me at all. So why don't you do this till it improves. You need to eat. And then I'm going to let you write on the computer. Shannon, when you're done, you're going to come down here and you're going to practice chess for a little while. And when you are ready, you can practice hopscotch. I don't even care what you guys do. Honestly, at this point, I just, I don't care. Alright, so what career is he in? He's seven days older than us. Ooh, this might be the guy. He might be our man. He may be a week older, but that's close in age. Julio Conway. Ali Conway. It's kind of a cute name. Alright, are you brothers or something with this guy? Because this is Gavin Conway. Sheldon Craven. And who's this person? Bethany Conway. They must all be, like, related or something. Not really sure. This is a Conway cat, too. Hmm. Ooh, he doesn't have a partner. Alright, so why don't you... Hold on. Pause. Alright, did you learn anything else about him? He is single. Alright, Irene Warren passed on. Uh, he learned... Allie learned that Julio has a career in scientific research. What? He is ambitious. And their signs are compatible. Woohoo! Allie, this may be your man. Alright, let's see. Friendly, go ahead and ask about his alma mater. Uh, chat with him. Compliment him. I want to see what she thinks if she considers his attractiveness. I want to see what she thinks of him. Kia Cat has passed on. There's so many people. Alright, you learned that they both went to Starry Community School. So that's cool. They share that as well then. Who's this? Oh, that's that kid. thought it was a toddler. Sitting in the grass. Alright, look at their relationship like fly up it's crazy alright Carrie Lind has passed on okay are you ma married to the, her okay I think you are because you guys are like flirting it up did you just flirt with him oh you complimented him I was like oh my goodness <laughs> um I want to see what she thinks of him. Alright, we're actually friends with him now. She's got her charisma skills level 3. And she thinks he's blindingly stunning. She thinks he's a 10 out of 10. This is totally our man. Allie. He's totally cute. So, yeah, he may not be, you know, extremely skinny. But, hey. More to love. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Oh my goodness. Alright, you've got about 20 minutes before you have to head home. So, let's see. Um, ask about his day. Um, ask about his show. Uh, friendly. Ask to be protected. That's a really great moodlet to start out with. So that'd be good. Um, chat with him. Let's see. Enthuse about music. Express your fondness. Oh, you're not going to get that far. How about you just express your fondness. 
go ahead and give him a friendly hug, and then do you have to say goodbye? Go ahead and say goodbye, and then head home. Okay. Alright, say goodbye. Alright, so we gotta head home. So, at least she made a friend. Julio Conway, he's a couch potato and ambitious. How the heck does that work? Not really sure. Anyways, so that's good. We've met a couple of people. So she met Julio Conway today. She met Darrell Basira. But there's no way she's going to be able to get with him because he's so much older. By the time she's ready to start dating anyone, it's going to be too late. Um, and then she met Gavin Conway, which she dislikes him already. So that's an end to the O. And he's a witch, so I don't really want to do witches. But, um... Julio fits the picture. Um, he is perfect in looks. I think he would make really cute babies with her. Um, he may not be skinny skinny, but please, no one is perfect. Um, he has a good looks. His ambitious trait would come in really good for the apocalypse. Um, it'll really help you get to the next career point that you need. And I had no idea my alarm went off, guys, so I'm really sorry that I'm probably going way over. Um, but if we could just possibly push it a little bit farther not to marriage but at least the dating in the next couple of episodes maybe the next episode I would be pretty happy with that um, because then when they're dating he won't be jumped into a relationship with someone else due to the fact that um, you know story progressions on so anyways I think this is a good place to stop um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you to go to sleep. Hold on. I'm just going to tell them what to do when they get off, when they're done with what they're doing. You need to use and wash your hands, lady. All right. You go do that. You need to eat. So let's let you eat the autumn salad. Oh, no, 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 no. You guys can't eat autumn salad. Get that out of there. Delete and delete. I didn't catch that earlier. I should have, but I didn't. I did not catch it. But they can't actually eat that. So serve up some macaroni and cheese. Alright, you need to... I'm going to send you to bed. I don't even care. Just go to bed. Um, you are going to bed. And you're going to bed. Alright, so I'm going to do let them go ahead and do what they got to do. And I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. In the next one, I believe it is Allie's first day of work today. So she needs to get to bed pretty shortly to be able to get up and be in a good mood for her first day of work. And then I'll go from the, we'll go from there and see how we can do with um, getting with Julio, I believe his name is. Yeah, Julio. Which is a cute little name. I like Julio. I think it'd be cute. And it would kind of fit in with the family theme of, you know, keeping it kind of to the whatever. I don't know. It wouldn't really fit in with family theme. I don't know what I'm talking about now. Anyways, if you guys like this, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Also, please don't forget to check out some of my other LPs you feel you may like. And also, please make sure to check out the current household that I posted and let me know if you guys would like to see that as an LP. Also, I'll be posting a uh, updates video pretty shortly on some pretty important information. So... Make sure to check that out when it's posted, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.